Are you an animator who uses free animation programs such as Fire Alpaca or Krita? If you are, I'm betting that you usually have a hard time exporting your animated movie into an actual video. Well, guess what? In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to turn your animated scene into a video by using the OpenShot Video Editor. Let's begin. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ian Migo Pictures, the channel that is dedicated to helping you become a better animator. In this week's episode, we're obviously going to be talking about OpenShot. Now, OpenShot is a free video editing software that allows you to turn your animated scenes into actual video files that you can share on YouTube. Now, the advantage of using OpenShot is it allows you to turn your animated image sequences into actual video files. Now this is great for any animator because every animation program allows you to turn your animated scenes into image sequences. So when you use OpenShot, you'll be able to turn it into an actual movie that you can share. Now to take advantage of this feature, we'll need to download the program. Click this button over here in order to download the software. Now when you click that button, you'll be given several options to choose from. I personally chose the Windows version because I'm running on a PC but maybe you might be running on a Mac. So if you have a Mac, click this download button. Now when you download and install OpenShot into your computer, it'll look like this. This is where we're gonna compose our full running cycle animation. Now speaking about my running cycle animation, I personally decided to split it into two files. One file is dedicated to the background art, while the other file is dedicated to the running cycle animation. I'm going to start off by showing you the background artwork. Okay, so here is the background artwork. Now, if you look over here, you'll see that it has many, many layers. And essentially, this is a school background, which will be the layout for my running cycle animation. Now, you might be wondering, why did I separate both of, the, both of these files apart? I did this because... I knew that it's easier to just export the background and place it in OpenShot and then just extend it for the duration of the scene rather than copy this background over like 70 times because there are about 70 layers in my run cycle. So that's why I separated them out in the first place. It's just a more efficient way of approaching the animation. So we're going to go to File. And then we're going to click export and then we're going to click OK. I'm going to save this to a file or folder that I called tutorial demonstration. Now it's time for me to show you the actual running cycle animation. Now here it is. You'll notice towards the right side, it has a lot of frames. Like I was saying before, this thing took me about 70 layers. So it's a pretty long video. Well, it's not long video, more like it took a lot of work to create that run cycle. Now I'm going to preview it for you guys so that way you can see what it looks like. So let me start it up right here. Let me stretch it up a little bit. And you can see that Dewey is running. So you can imagine the story is maybe Dewey is running from a bully. This is just a little animation that I created just to test out really fire alpaca and to see how good it is as an animation program. Now, I want you to pay attention to the frame rate right here that says 24 frames per second. That is the frame rate that I use to animate this run cycle. So it's important to remember this when you export an open shot because you just want to make sure that your exported video matches the frame rate that you are animating in. Make sure to remember this because we're going to talk about it later on in the tutorial. Now, since I'm working in Fire Alpaca, I need to make sure that I turn on two options, the onion skin mode and the transparent background. To do this, I'll just go to view, click the transparent background, and I'll make sure that the onion skin mode is on. A great way to know if you have your onion skin mode on is you'll see the before and after images that will be in the red or the green color. So now that I have the transparent background and onion skin mode on, it is now time to export this movie. 
So go to file, then go and click where it says export image onion skin mode. So when you do that, you're going to have to save it in a folder. I'm going to save it in my tutorial demonstration folder. Now, once you save it in the folder, it'll take some time for Fire Alpaca to process all those images. And once it's done, you'll see a message that says, Open Alpa Alpaca Duga. Just say no by clicking the no button. And this is basically our image sequence. You see, he's kind of running like that. You see, like that. See? Now it's time to import this run cycle and the background artwork into OpenShot. Now we're in OpenShot right now, so we're going to go to File, click Import Files, and then we're going to put the background artwork first. So click that and place it into the file. Now once it's in the timeline, you can easily just extend it for however long you want it to be. And that's what I just did right over here. I went to the size and just extended it out. Now we're going to place the run cycle. So we're going to repeat the same process. So we'll go to file, import files, and then scroll down and track down where you kept your run cycle. Now, when we open up this folder, we're going to import it into OpenShot with a little bit of a different technique. The idea in any image sequence is to select all the images and then place them into the video editor. To do this, you're going to first click the first image. Then you're going to hold the shift button. While holding the shift button, scroll all the way down and click the last image. If you do this correctly, you will see that it highlights all of the images in one simple move. So click open and you'll see that it will ask you, hey, do you want to put this as an image sequence? You say yes. And now it's going to process all of those images. It's going to take some time, so just give it a little bit of time for it to process all those images. Now, since an image sequence is technically considered a video, you'll need to click the video tab. So it'll be right over here. Let's move it out here. Okay. There's a video tab, and that's the animated run cycle that you want to drag into your timeline. So take it and drag it into the timeline. And because my run cycle is kind of short, I decided to loop it for three times by copying and pasting, copying and pasting. So there's number one, number two, and number three. So I'm just putting them together. Now that my background artwork is kind of long, I'm going to reduce the size. So I'm going to go and just shrink the size just a little bit so it matches the duration of the run cycle. I've pretty much done all the editing I really need to do for this run cycle, so it's now time to export the video. To do this, you'll need to click the small red circle. When you click on it, you'll need to focus on the part that says target. I want you to make sure that you choose this MP4 setting. This setting will allow your video to be played on virtually any device. So make sure to click on that. Then check the advanced section so click this tab right here go down to profile and when you click it i want you to pay attention at the frame rate section now you can see that it's set at 24 frames per second but hypothetically if you decided to animate at 12 frames per second you can be able to adjust that 24 to be 12. now after adjusting the video i'm going to click the export video button when I do this, I'm going to save it into my tutorial demonstration folder. Now, the video will look something like this. Let me pull it up and click open. You can see that Dewey is running across the screen. I've kind of set it to loop so that way you can kind of see it happen again and again and again. But essentially, that's how you turn an animated image sequence into an actual video by using OpenShot. Now, I'd personally like to know, do you think that OpenShot is the best free video editing software for animators? I'd like you to share your thoughts in the comment box below. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.